Some inversions contain the centromere and are called pericentric. As they pair, they can form inversion loops in an attempt to match gene regions of the neighboring chromosome. If crossing over occurs within the loop region of a pericentric uh, inversion, this results in chromosomes which have duplications and deletions. So some have too many genes and some have too few genes. Paracentric inversions are inversions which are outside the centromere. If crossing over occurs within the loop region of a paracentric inversion, dicentric and acentric chromosomes are created. Some have two centromeres and will be pulled apart. Others uh, lack centromeres and will then be lost and uh, not going to either pole during cell division. The cells which receive these chromosomes do poorly and gametes containing such chromosomes often do not form zy uh, viable zygotes. An individual who possesses inversion chromosomes uh, may demonstrate semi-sterility in which a percentage of their gametes are non-functional. Because chromosomes with crossovers may not produce functional gametes, inversions can be referred to as crossover suppressors. Even though they don't technically uh, prevent crossing over, they will make it less likely that uh, zygotes conceived from crossover gametes uh, will survive.